one of the phrases that captured my heart when I've listened to this a number of times was Donna talking about what whether it's the 10th customer in the day or the 100th customer in the day, treating that person as an individual. And that's one of the skills that I think we are educating our people in because they want to provide that service. But Jared talked about our strategy and he outlined that customer focus is a key element of our strategy. And customer focus, Antoine talked about the little things, I probably talk about the simple things. The simple thing is to have the right people at the right time to provide the right advice. And ideally, we'd love to build a one-stop shop. But realistically, we need to have people with varying skills. And we have a range of skills from the simple right through to the complex. And part of the challenge that we have is to find that person that can answer that complex inquiry at the right time in the right place. We have a strong focus on educating our customers and teaching them how to protect themselves to ensure that their transactions with us are safe and secure. We have a whole range of processes here. And I just want to select a couple because in particular we talked about putting the right customer in front of the right banker every time and skills-based routing has certainly been a big influence over that. The second one out of this group I really want to talk about and focus on is customer first. That's just not a contact centre focus, it's an organisational focus and we've seen a whole change of brand to our footprint and the way that we do business and making sure that central to every decision that we make, we work back from the customer. So today, when the call comes in, radar picks it up, we are able to retrieve the customer profile within split second, greet him by name in a preferred language and the multi-dimensional skill routing will route it to the appropriate staff. Without IVR, personalised, with quality, all calls, in fact, almost 100% picked up within three rings, and we have kept the calls down. The radar cuts off a minute of two, doing all kinds of verification and retrieving all the data. You multiply that by 100 calls a day, by 400 seats, 365 days a year, that's a lot of savings. That's how we keep the cost down. And thanks to this marvellous uh, invention here. Next, are we prepared? Now, no matter how good you are, if you don't have enough staff, you can't do a good job. I think that's quite standard. If your staff is not competently trained, you also can't do a good job. So for years, we have been struggling because uh, for some reasons, agents in the contact centre industry, they don't like to travel a long distance to their workplace. I don't know if it's true in your country, but certainly for Singapore. So we have been trapped by geographical limitation and rigid cost structure. Well, this year, we created what we call the virtual contact centre. And what is a virtual contact centre? 